Good morning. So I've been working a bit on uh, something called Allen NLP. And uh, Allen NLP uh, is, a, uh, is a suite of models and programs and, and so on to help do natural language processing. And the, a good place to start for this is out in GitHub. And we can search here for Alan NLP. Here it is. This is an open source library that is built on uh, PyTorch. So first thing to do is come over here and click this little clipboard and this will put this put this string inside your clipboard and then uh you need to go to your go to your terminal and then uh once you're in your terminal then uh i've got a i've got a directory here called code that I like to work in and type in git clone git at github.com colon allen ai slash allen nlp dot git and hit return and it will uh, download all of that and it will put it into a directory called allen nlp All right, so I'm not sure how we're going to use this yet, but I, I think it's a good idea to have this in here. Then the next thing to do is to create to a conda, create minus n Allen NLP Python equals 3.7. And uh, I'm not going to do this because I've already done it. Uh, when you're done, you still have to do a conda activate Alan, right? Because you look over here at my prompt, you'll see I'm, I'm in conda's base environment here. Once I do this, I'm in the Alan NLP environment. And once you're in there, then you can start doing the installation. Here, here are the installation steps in the README in the GitHub repository for Allen NLP. And the first thing it says here is if you're using Python 3.7, which we are, or greater, ensure that you don't have the PyPy version of data classes installed, because otherwise things aren't going to work. So in order to not have that, you you're going to run this statement. You can run that now. And this is not going to help me because I don't I don't have it here. It's not installed because I already got rid of it. So let's see how we can get it. By the way, here's that conda create statement again. Here's the conda activate which we've done. Now we're going to do a pip install Allen NLP. And I've done that already. But when you do this, you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff happen. And you'll end up with all of the software that you need. And then you can run this Allen test. Not the period. You don't want the period. You just want this much. We can run that now, it's no problem. And there you go. And it tells me that I have one CUDA device available and everything is working and the version is 1.2. So wonderful, but yours is not gonna work, yours is gonna fail because you've gotta run this pip uninstall minus y data classes. I also installed these models here pip install allen nlp models 
And once again, that's going to reinstall data classes. So you're going to have to get rid of that again. So pain in the pain in the neck, I know, but that's just how things go. So anyway, once you have all of this, what can you do with it? Well, I've started up a little uh, Jupyter Notebook so that I could do something with it. And so here's, here's what I've done. From allennlp.predictors.predict, import predictor. And then you run this by holding down the shift and hitting enter. That runs fine. And then predictor.predictor .predictor from path. And I wanted to use this uh, BIDAF, bidirectional model for prediction. And uh, I had found a tutorial and it had a different BIDAF model out on uh, Amazon AWS. And when I went to go get it, it wasn't there. So this is the kind of problem that you run into when you try to follow tutorials online and they're a year old or something like that. You're going to find that uh, stuff you're looking for isn't there. Things have changed. So I did a Google search for Allen NLP uh, predictor BIDAF model. And one of the results that came back was a tutorial that pointed to this location. So I went out here instead and got this. Uh, see if I can find. This is what I was looking at was this. Uh, how to create question answering Allen NLP bot using Python. And this one here, back up a little bit, is using this uh, S3-US-West blah, 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 BIDAF model. And this was not there anymore. So this that stopped me. I couldn't go any further with this. But uh, eventually, I found that other BIDAF model. I came back here. I continued to follow this tutorial. And this tutorial then uh, has this statement down here, or, or these two statements, and these work fine. And also this passage here. So let's go back to what I was doing here. Run this, and that's happy. And then here's my passage. There were 12 men who were on the first jury. And I don't know if that's true or not. I just made it up. But I ran that. Now this variable passage has this string in it. And then I did this result. Equals predictor dot predict. Passage equals passage. And question equals how many men were on the first jury. That goes into results, and then I'm going to run this result. I'm going to pull out this uh, this keyword. I'm going to pull out the value for this keyword, and uh, there it is, 12, which is the correct answer. So this is pretty cool. Uh, if you have some text that you need to get answers from. Uh, you can use these one, two, three, four, five lines of code. And you can start pulling answers out from, uh, from text uh, pretty easily. I think this is very powerful. And uh, it's running on my crappy little machine here. So you should be able to run it on yours. I've got just a 10, uh, 1050 Ti in here for my CUDA device. And this comes back immediately. So let me give you an example here. If you're, if you're a customer service organization, for example, and your customers are leaving you a message and you want to extract from it, uh, you know, were they, were they happy or not? Uh, 
uh, how many, you could ask a question like, how many minutes did you have to wait? And uh, they could tell you that. And then, and then you could pull it out uh, using this methodology. So this is an amazingly powerful tool in the right hands. Uh, anyway, I hope that you learned something from this and you enjoy it and uh, go on and create some pretty fantastic things. Thank you for watching.